the evil and eerie look of vultures flying above can only ever mean one thing. We saw this whilst driving into Luangwa National Park one morning, the setting of this video. As we drove up to the scene, we realised the vultures were squabbling over what remained of a young elephant. After just a few minutes, we realised the elephant's mother was still sticking around, looking quite distressed. You couldn't help but feel awful for this elephant mother, but this is just what life's like in the Luangwa. In this video, we're going to be appreciating the African wildlife, as well as adding elephants to our species list. Some of this excitement from Africa must come from how dangerous it is. No matter what animal you are, it just seems a terrifying place to live. Look for example at these antelope. You can see how careful and cautious they are when drinking. We were watching these antelope for about 20 minutes, and one of the kudu never even managed to bring itself to have a drink, and you can't blame them knowing there's hundreds of crocodiles in the water. You can see how easily startled they are, but luckily for them this time, there was no crocodile. It's usually the case that the animals you really want to see are the hardest to find. But here in the Luangwa, one of the most easy animals to see is actually the elephant. And this is an amazing animal that you will never get bored of. These African bush elephant here are magnificent. But the living species of elephant are only a fragment of how diverse they once were. Paleoloxodon, a now extinct elephant species known from only fragments of bone, is thought to have been over 5 metres tall and 22 tonnes in mass, making it even bigger than Paraceratherium, the often stated largest ever land mammal. We saw many amazing animals in the Luangwa, so how come I'm only adding elephants to the species list? So the reason I'm only adding elephants to our list is just because they're everywhere here and you can get very close to them. That huge one's just about 20 metres away. If it comes much closer, I'm going to have to get out of the way, but very cool. Okay, it's now coming closer, so I'm going to head off as I'm on foot, and that is massive. Later on, we saw this rather healthy looking herd crossing over the river. Perhaps that alone mother we saw earlier was meant to be part of this herd. <coughs> Elephants are the only animals on the savannah privileged enough to just walk through the water. The younger members of the herd, however, have a good few years before they can do this by themselves. Here you can see the youngest member of the group being guided by another five older members of the herd. You can see on the bottom right of the screen that the young elephant actually spends a long time underwater and is struggling quite a lot despite its help from five other members of the herd. It did, I can assure you though, make it to the other side. Unfortunately though, for the other young elephant of the herd, it has very clearly injured one of its hind limbs. You'd imagine it's only a matter of time before it meets a similar end to the elephant we saw earlier. And this is just what the harsh reality is like in Africa. It's a gruesome and brutal place to live. You may remember me saying I was only going to add the elephant to the species list, and this was the plan. But then on one of the last days whilst driving down a very quiet and empty side trail, we bumped into a leopard all to ourselves. I managed to film it for about 15 minutes without any interference from any other vehicles or people whatsoever. It was an amazing sighting and I think it's only fair that we add it to the species list. But I've decided I'll add this to a future video. So for now, this remains the video of elephants and I'll see you in the next one. I sound like someone told a good joke. Yeah. <laughs>